So yesterday we had uh, quite the thunderstorm roll through, plenty of uh, tree branches down in my yard. So I thought we'd go check on the solar trailer, see how it's doing. Uh, now when I left the, tr the trailer yesterday, uh, the panels were locked on an, on an angle about like this, but they were only locked from this end, not the far end, so let's check that out. And here we can see uh, the lock. I've got the pin through. Um, it's got a cotter pin on the end. The lock did not move at all. However, um, as of yet, I had not secured this down. This was just threaded into the end. Um, I was planning on adding a little weld bead once I was happy with how everything was working. Somebody else suggested uh, just drilling a hole and putting a pin through there. Uh, I like the idea that that's removable. Would also let water potentially into the pipe and nah, I don't really want to do that. Um, so the panels are vertical right now. Uh, the other thing is if I just had the other end locked, because on this end going this way is loosening, but on the other end it would be tightening. So. I wonder if I had the other end locked, um, since it'd be trying to loosen here but tighten over there, if it would um, would have stayed. Uh, my big concern really would be, was there any damage to the solar panels? So I wasn't here when this happened. The one thing I could imagine is like if it really fast, boom, went like this, if there could be any sort of damage on the back of the solar panels. So let's take a look. Uh, I gotta unlock it first, or I guess just torque it back to where it would be. Right about there. Now I do not see uh, any kind of damage under here. Uh, keep in mind these are used solar panels, so they did already have some scratches on them, that sort of thing, but um, I'm not seeing any dings on the aluminum frame. Um, I'm not seeing any cracks or anything like that. They're fine. Their solar panels are, overall, they're pretty darn durable. Now the other thing is right here I've got an old truck toolbox. I had just picked this up the other day. Um, I had not yet even started working on um, really wiring up the, the solar or anything, but I did have a bunch of parts that I uh, just put inside the box before I left yesterday. Um, so let's see how weatherproof this was, because again, we had a thunderstorm, a pretty bad one, you know, 60 mile an hour winds. Let's take a look inside here. seeing any water. No drips, nothing like that. Bone dry inside. So if the toolbox handles uh, 60 mile an hour winds and a thunderstorm, I think it's safe to say it's uh, relatively weatherproof. Anything short of a tornado, and if we have those, I got worse problems. So it looks like this truck toolbox is a good choice for a battery box and holding the electronics. Um, one thing I gotta do is put a little weld back here or at least a hole in a pin. That's something I was planning on doing anyways. I just had not gotten to it yet.